One. Since Thursday, UT Health East Texas has been asking ambulances to go to other hospitals. That's right. It's happening after a security system breach this holiday weekend. KDK's Avery Ganowski tells us what this means for 10 facilities right here at home with those patients. On Monday, Ardent Health Services, UT Health East Texas parent company released a statement saying their 30 hospitals were a part of a ransomware attack. We'll hold your information for ransom and they want you to send the money uh, in order for you to get access to your data again. On the evening of Thanksgiving, UT Health East Texas announced they were going to divert status. And while the attack did not disrupt patient care, many hospital systems went offline. It's a form of malware that gets into your computer and the intent is to keep you from having access to the information on your computer. Monday, the hospital was briefly off of that diverse status, but put back on hours later as they continue to work bringing hospital systems back fully online, including online medical records. Anybody who has that data, it's, data is valuable. We always say data is gold. You know, it's as valuable as gold nowadays because people will, will purchase that data. And so that's why it is something that these scammers want. Michelle Mills with Better Business Bureau Central East Texas shares that this type of cyber attack is becoming more common. Any organization who has important data is going to be a target. Hospitals are targeted a lot. Public uh, services are targeted, um, businesses, we're, we're all collecting lots of data nowadays. And so um, anybody who has that data, it's, data is valuable. Ardent says it is too soon to tell what patient data, both health and financial, could be involved in the incident. Avery Klanowski, KUTK News. And